Hey internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. Today, you know, I really, I don't really know what is up with anime this week, but everything in anime this week is so, so tragic, <laughs> I swear. Going on from me watching Tokyo Ghoul to me watching to to me now watching um, the Seven Deadly Sins, I'm like almost everything tragic is happening now. Going on from how Jericho was crushing her brother to what Bond did to try and fight Meliodas to the whole thing of everybody just breaking down and trying to murder Hendrickson. I mean, like, a lot of heavy stuff is happening this, this week, and it's not all that easy to really talk about. Well, what can I say? It is easy to talk about, but I'm like, it's a bit difficult to pretty much kind of, like, filter through all the emotions that they were pretty much, like, making rise up, which really, you know. But either way, but what this episode was now, it is actually rather cool, though, because you do actually get to see five of the five of the sins team up against like a very difficult enemy or at least like a very tenacious enemy who just doesn't want to fucking die and as and and also he did get a very schooling lesson about the healing ability in which that you know he did have because as he saw that Meliodas he was he does have demon powers and as Meliodas pre pretty much fucking tells him is that like look the healing ability of, of demons, yes, man, it is it is phenomenal and it is great. The problem with that, though, is that you may heal fast, but honestly, if you do heal fast, you still have uh, the pain afterwards because he just instantly heals and shit. The problem with that, though, is that like how much he keeps getting damaged and how often he keeps he keeps getting careless and keeps on getting hit and hit and hit and hit is slowly starting to take his toll on toll on his body. To the point in which that everybody's just, or at least like the sins them themselves, every single one of them can just can just beat the shit out of them, except for Gother. Gother's just dodging him. He's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> but but yeah, this episode it does go off with the revelation of the demon that actually killed Elaine was sitting right there, and also Hendrickson possibly about to go ahead and say something about that, or. Or at least him planning something with that. So that is what I got to say about that. What do you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section. Did you like this episode? Did you hate it? Love it? Please leave a positive, positive or a negative comment. And I'll see you next time. I'm out.